I remember my near-death experience like it was yesterday. I was struck with severe PTSD and full-blown depression. I was tired, tired of living with my own demons and thoughts. I didn't feel any way out of it. I wanted to be with God and in a better place, a more peaceful serenity than this hellhole of life. My past was extremely dark. I was molested and I was beaten and touched inappropriately at a very young age. I was in psychiatric care for most of my childhood. I tortured and killed animals and was always having the police called on me with officers finding me ripping up a bird. As I grew up I felt like I wasn't loved or being watched by God, even though I was raised Jewish. I was a very violent kid, with 14 suicide attempts. I proceeded to take 30 to 100 milligrams of Seroquel and I was finally like yes this is it. I proceeded to slip my arm, and blood started pouring out, then I slowly sunk into my shower where I was laying and entered the tunnel I so desperately wanted all around me. I knew I was home. In the distance, I saw a group of people. They looked to be firefighters. Seven to eight foot tall firefighters. Their faces were so perfect and masculine, they did not look into my eyes, and they did not talk. I looked down and was covered in blood, and suddenly I was lifted up by these beings. They were carrying me to this warm place. They were so tall and as they were carrying me they looked straight on towards this light. I was suddenly dropped and felt like I was slammed onto a concrete floor. I saw these beings in the distance. It was a group of men who wore long capes and looked to be very wise and smart. One of them said to me or some voice told me in my head telepathically, You're here, didn't I tell you not to come, you're not ready. I thought and spoke with my mind, I knew I didn't have a physical body anymore. But the demons and what I have been through are consuming me, sir I am tired of it. Suddenly a booming voice full of anger, but full of love and compassion said why do you continue to your hate? Why do you abuse your soul that I created my child? Do you know what real pain is? I suddenly got sucked into the darkness. I saw a man who I recognized, he seemed dull, and to my horror. The man who touched me inappropriately and other kids, in a daycare center. He died in prison from being stabbed. He was sentenced to 67 years. He kept screaming for help. He had teeth marks on his body and what looked to me like claw marks. Ben, help me. I am being tortured and I am lost. Please help me. For years I wanted to end this man who destroyed my life and other people's lives for his own pleasure. The booming voice once again. You can't help him. He is where he needs to be. He has hurt children. He has burnt bridges, he has manipulated others, and he will remain here for eternity until the day he can accept the love and light. You are here because you think your life is bad. I did not feel pity, I felt a sigh of relief, and warmth hit my heart and mind. I thought I was sick, I thought I was the victim. I am a survivor. I asked this being if he forgives me for my horrific torture of animals. It paused and told me. My children who are weak and suffering from another man's hands are to be loved regardless, and as long as you work on yourself I will always be there for you. Do you forgive me? I asked. Then with a booming voice that shook my body and felt like the whole universe itself being told very deeply and slowly only if you move on and forgive yourself. I got this sudden pull feeling. I was being sucked back into this tunnel. I slammed back into my body and woke up in the shower. My arms clotted and I felt this amazing feeling of warmth like it was a breath of fresh air and pure love. Last Christmas marked four years of no self-harm or hospitalizations. Coming up on five years of not trying to end my life. I have had my depression and ups and downs, but I use my coping mechanisms. Therapy has saved my life.